Nice shooting, guys! There we go! Nice job! I just slept for nine hours and now it's time to go do some hunting. Uh, buckle up for safety. Are you buckled, Levi? Alright, we're rolling out of the hotel here. Time check. Time check. Wait. <laughs> Board, board's working great. So, yeah, no screen to be had on a 10 hour trip. No radio. Rocking the Bluetooth speaker. So, um, yeah, we're uh, first stop. Oh, gas is 829 a gallon. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> Woo! Uh, first stop. We, we thought 350 was bad. Yeah, last I, night. I filled up for 326 last night, but that's 826. Wow. Uh, first stop, we need coffee. Second stop, field. Third stop, blind. Let's get it. We did get sausage, biscuit, and egg burritos. Yeah, give me that. Biscuits. A, a burrito? Burrito. <laughs> oh. Also, also, something I've learned about Texas, West Texas. A road in Kansas would normally be like 60 or 65 miles an hour if there's no shoulder. Down, 55. down. 55. 55. Come on, focus. 55, okay. 55 with like no a, shoulder. A 55 or a 60, right? Down here, they say, oh, just get there. 75 miles an hour is a speed limit. It's ridiculous. Like, it's awesome, but like, can you imagine hitting a deer on a road with no shoulder and a big ditch on the side going 75 miles an hour? Which, by the way. Oh yeah, getting down yeah, here. We only saw like somewhere, like in like a what, 25 mile stretch? Yeah, like it was, speed limit was 75, but I dropped it down to like 60 because we were seeing so many deer. And uh, the thing that we came closest to hitting was actually an owl. Look at that perfection. It doesn't even look that good. It looks like they just microwaved it. Mm. Oh my God. You don't know how good this is after being, oh. Mm. We didn't even eat dinner last night. We just showered and went to bed, so. This is amazing. This is like way better than quick trips, for sure. This video is going to take a long time to get to the hunting aspect of it. It's going to be different from what people normally have. Oh, can we tell them where it all slips? Where it all slips. I, whatever that means. Somewhere in Texas. See, my biscuit squished. It's okay. Be really good with the key. Tastes like a Jimmy Dean. Well, helps if you put the key in the ignition and turn the truck on. You can actually get somewhere. How many yinglings did you drink last night? Two. Oh, so not that many. Dude, I was tired. I was on like hour 40 of being awake. All right, we are set up, ready to go. We got the crane decoys out. We got our blind right here, looking good. Once again, we're out here with Caprock Waterfowl and we're doing some crane hunting today. I'm excited about it. Levi's drinking his Red Bull, getting everything ready. And uh, I drink coffee and Red Bull. It's kind of cold, but hey, look at that. Yeah, the sunrise looks pretty good. There you go, there's the sunrise this morning, looking good. The you know, Levi, says, Levi says that the cotton bales look like giant loaves of bread. <laughs> but yeah, that's the set. Looks good. We're gonna get in the blind and hopefully shoot some cranes today. Swap me. Close? Yeah. Nice shooting, guys! There we go! Nice job! <laughs> nice! Look at those! Yeah, I just kept seeing out here the whole time. 
That is awesome. Man, those did it so good. So good. I didn't even see it happening. No. So we were we were just chit chatting and we turn around and look. Yeah, let me see that big one. And these cranes were just on the deck coming in. I didn't even have shells in my gun. So good start to the day. Yeah, baby. Got that one? Yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. I got a crane. Where are you gonna keep hunting? Levi said there's more birds coming. I don't even see him. No, I don't. I don't. Right there. The oh, I see him. Yeah. So, you want to slide in here and we'll get in the blind? Nice one, Levi. That was you. Was it? That was totally you. I, was, I don't know. There was a lot of guns going off, but I saw it. I heard you click and I saw it poof. Yeah. There you go. Another little group came in, hovered right over the decoys. They were a little off to the right, so uh, us on the left side really didn't get a lot of good shots at them. But we got four out of that group, so we'll we'll keep plugging away. The birds are flying a lot. They're they're spaced out more. Like the flights are spaced out more than they were yesterday. It seems like yesterday it was just bird after bird after bird, and today it's like we got a group downtime get another group which I like this pace a lot more god my gun didn't cycle dang it guys that is the first time my gun has ever done that right when a follow-up shot was actually needed. I hit that crane with the first shell, but then it didn't close fully. I've been having issues with uh, the breech not closing all the way, so I just dumped some water in there and cranked that, that breech, so then it, it's not that. I think my gun's just really dirty because I haven't cleaned it since last season. But got a few out of that group. Could have been more if my gun didn't do what it did. Now there's a, a round huh? floating around. Kind of a bummer, but nothing I can do about it. And I just got to find that shell that I ejected that never got shot. So we'll keep at it here. Cranes are still flying. And that is a wrap for today's hunt. It went pretty good. We got some good shooting opportunities and killed some cranes. And the wind out here is fantastic. So I'm gonna find something to get behind to block this wind. Yeah, that's looking a little better. Except I'm dark now. So yeah, we got, got a few cranes in the bag. Got to see them do it for a few groups. That was pretty cool. So all in all, second crane hunt ever. It was a fun one. So we're gonna keep at it here, find some birds, and we'll see if we can put together another hunt with Caprock Waterfowl for tomorrow. So stay tuned, guys.